object repository types you can create object repositories in two modes local also called per action based object repository shared also called global object repository let's look into local object repository first it is the default object repository it is specific to actions and can be used only for a particular action to understand this point better let's do an exercise in qtp i have a script with two actions action 1 and action 2 action 1 has a single step recorded which is clicking the okay button in the login dialog box of flight reservation application whereas action 2 is empty now suppose for some particular reason i want to move this step from action 1 to action 2 if i simply cut the step and paste it in action 2 and try to run the script the script fails this is because in the object repository for action 1 the object information is stored but in the object repository of action 2 there is no object information stored if you want the script to work you need to ensure that the object description is present in repository for action number 2 moving ahead local object repository is preferable when application is not dynamic with respect to time the main disadvantage of local object repository is that it cannot be used now let's look into the various operations that can be performed in a local object repository suppose your object repository grows huge and you cannot interpret what this particular object that is the okay button actually looks like in the application you can select the object and click on highlight in application uh, the object will be highlighted in the application as shown alternatively if you want to verify whether an object is present in the object repository or not say the agent name field you can click on locate in repository select the object and the object is automatically highlighted in the object repository as shown agent name apart from this you can do cut copy paste operations rename and delete operations on objects in the object repository suppose for the okay button you want to replace the text property which is currently set to value okay click on find and replace specify the object name which is okay in our case the property name would be text the current value of the property is okay at the new property value say any random value temp temp and click on replace all if you check in the object repository the text property has changed its value from okay to temp what this particular functionality will do is for all the instances of the okay button present in the object repository the text property will change its value in case you have accidentally modified the value of a property you can update its description from the application so suppose we want to update the value of okay object from the application select the object 
select update from application select the object in the application and as you can see the value of the text property is again set to ok you can add an object to the repository without actually recording it to add an object click on add objects to local select the object in the application under test which you want to add say help click ok as you can see the help object is added to the object repository these are the key operations amongst the many others that you can do in the local object repository